Today, we go through the largest assortment of Karens to date, with moments like this. Good job, you go stop that great guy. Got some real hair. And even this. Take me to jail. I asked if there was a On November 4th, 2022, police received a call regarding a Chevrolet Traverse stopped on the wrong lane. Three officers went over to inspect the situation. Put the car in park and turn it off, please. Yeah, of course. You do realize you're uh, in the wrong lanes, right? I do. You're I was on... just looking for a number. Yeah, you're on the wrong side of the roadway. I know that. I was looking for a number. Why would you be on the wrong side of the roadway, though? Because I was pulled off to the side of the road. Yeah, you're not in the side of the road. You're in the, you're in the westbound lanes and you're facing eastbound. Yeah, I know. Can you give me the keys, please? Why? Give me the keys, please. Give me the keys to your vehicle. I don't understand why I have to. You don't have to understand. Just give me the keys. Okay. Thank you. As the officer tried to get her ID, her behavior started to escalate. What happened next was pretty shocking. I am being taken advantage of right now. No, I disagree. Who are you calling? My husband. Because if he's not here, I'm not getting out of the car. How about Officer Sean? Hmm? Officer Sean of North Palm Beach? What about Officer Sean? Call him. I'm not calling anybody. Call He has nothing to do with this. He won a minute. Trust me. I don't think that he'd appreciate you calling him at 1.30 in the morning. Well, I am going home tonight, and I'm not going anywhere other than my house. Okay. The entitlement was about to get real, but the cops made sure to tackle the situation without being intimidated. I'm calling my husband. Do okay. not touch me. Okay. If you touch me... Come on, step out. Get out of the car. You're going to harass me? No, relax, 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 okay? Relax. Throw your phone. I'm not. Don't make me I have anymore. the rights to call my husband. Stop tensing up. Stop. Okay, let's go. Not right Let now. me explain nope. this to you. Let me explain this to you, okay? You are under arrest. I didn't do anything. You are under arrest. I didn't do anything. I'll do go anything ahead. you want me go to. Ahead put your, put your go ahead and put your foot on. I'll do anything you want me to. The cops finally had her in handcuffs, but she kept throwing a tantrum. <laughs> no. I need to get home to make sure my babies are safe. They're safe. They're not safe. You don't know Stop. my babies. <laughs> you Listen, relax your arm. I didn't leave them. That was all my escape. Can you just let me go, please? No, no. Can you follow me? If you weren't driving the wrong way. You're not taking my thing off of my finger. I can promise you that I don't want your ring. To keep, I have to put it. That's fine. That's a four thousand dollar ring. Yeah, it's gonna okay. go with you. Don't it's worry. She was finally taken to jail. Where she was charged with DUI and later refusal to sign a citation. She was sentenced to one year probation and six months with an ignition interlock device. In October 2022, these police officers were doing a robbery inspection when they saw someone driving above the speed limit. After a high speed chase, the police finally caught the driver. I literally came home from my boyfriend's birthday party. I wanted to tell my sister I was sober because I was proud of how many days I'd come with AA. And I was, she was so mad at me because I didn't text her back throughout the whole party. And so I told her, I will literally come to you for you up sober. I was bawling my eyes out because she didn't believe me. And she was so mad at me, but she also suffers from like bipolar disorder. So I was like, I'm gonna prove to you I'm sober in a way, but I was so upset about it. I'm so sorry. Okay. So, you didn't have anything to drink tonight? No, sir. Okay. I can do a test for you. I can do anything. Okay. So, how come you're... Do you normally slur your words? No, sir. Okay. What's causing that right now? I'm not slurring my words. Yeah, you are. I can... That's, is that how you speak normally? The way you're talking right now? Typically. Okay. Are your eyes normally bloodshot and glassy and watery? I've been sobbing my eyes out for like 30 minutes. Would you like me to follow a light or do any tests for you? Okay. I'll have you do that in just a second. 
but I just want to make sure. Are you not having like a medical episode, uh, a medical condition right now? No, are you? Sir. You don't need an ambulance or any fire rescue or nothing no. like that. Okay. All right. How come we can smell alcohol? You smell alcohol. Yeah. No. No. The girl claimed to be sober as she was returning from a party. However, her slurred speech and glassy eyes told a different story. Let's see how the cops deal with her. What you do is I want you to follow this light with your eyes and your eyes only. Do not move your head, okay? Do you understand that? Yes, sir. All right. Uh -huh. Nope, keep your head straight. Just follow with your eyes, okay? Okay. Well, we're going to go real slow. Just continue to follow, okay? Yeah. Keep your hands down by your side for me. Do one more, we're gonna go up this time, okay? Keep following. What's the problem? What's up? I said, I'm so sorry, I'm literally going to shoot Okay. You guys said I was here for the weekend for my friend's birthday. Alright, that's okay. Like I said, I'm just trying to make sure that it's that you're safe to be driving right now. That's all, okay? okay. Alright. I'm going to go up on this one, okay? Just continue to follow. Keep your head straight. Remember what I told you the first time, right? Because you, you originally told me you didn't have anything to drink. Then you said you had two white claws, right? I told well, you. Like, I, told, I, I know. I know. I know. Listen, like I told you, honesty is the best policy right now, okay? So I need you to be completely honest with you because I can already tell that you're lying still. No, How much I did you have to drink? Had that. How much did you have to drink? I only had two white claws. Okay. I mean, earlier today because I had my ethics exam. She tried to come out clean, but it was evident that she had too much to drink. The officer did one final test before making the arrest. All right, do you know your alphabet? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead and close your eyes. You know from you know from A to Z? Yeah, but in that order? Words. Okay, that's right, you know from A to Z in alphabetical order? Okay, what I want you to do is when I tell you to begin, you're gonna close your eyes and you're gonna recite from the letter E to the letter V. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right, go and begin. E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V. No way! I won't make a mistake. I'll get her shoes on. Yeah. Really, guys? All right, go put your shoes on, okay? What I want it. Wait, can you guys like explain like what's happening? All right, right now you're being placed under arrest for DUI, okay? The officers finally took her to the police station where a breathalyzer was used to determine she was over the drinking limit. She was charged with possession of a controlled substance, DUI, and reckless driving. If convicted of all these charges, she can see a fine of $2,500 and be in jail for up to one and a half years. Moving on, we have a Florida woman who had just dropped her kid at school and was reported to be drunk. The cops decided to pull her over. Let's see how it goes. Hello, how you doing, ma'am? Good, how you doing? So I guess we've got some concern is that there's some, uh, it smells like alcohol. You guys been drinking this morning? Last, last night. night. Last night? Last night, yeah. Okay, do you have your driver's license? Yeah. Registration insurance? How long ago last night? You know, when was the last time you took a drink? Um, last night, probably 12.30. 12.30? Yeah. Good registration. You didn't mind, sir? Or? No, you're fine. Okay. Just search for that. Resource 106, Miss Linus. I think that's the best room in high school. So, do you remember what time it was that you drank? Uh, 1.30. 1.30 this morning? Okay. Yeah, we left, we left the girls around. What's that? We left the girls around 4 30. Okay. All right. So give me a second, but I'm talking to her real quick, all right? Uh, I'm sorry. You're good. So do me a favor, man. Step out here so I can talk to you in the back. Stay in the car, right, bud. Yes, sir. Sure, come right back here. The cops claimed that they could smell the alcohol once she lowered her window. However, the cops decided to do some sobriety tests to make sure. Keep your hands at your sides, just like this. Like this. Okay? Go ahead and do that now. Okay, I didn't tell you to walk just yet. So go back to the position that I had you stand up before. 
Left foot on the line. R2. Left foot on the line, right foot in front of your left. With your hands at your sides and you're going to stand there and you're not going to start until I tell you to do so, okay? Okay. Well, I asked if you had any medical conditions that you're diagnosed. Are you diagnosed with anxiety? Are you on medication for anxiety? Okay. So, what you're going to do when I tell you to begin... I'm sorry? I know you're talking about. Okay. She later claimed her knees were shaking and she couldn't complete the test. As she failed to complete the test, the cops had to take some necessary measures. Go ahead and spread your feet a little bit for me. All right, give me your left hand. Um, I, have, I do have a medical condition. Now you have a medical condition? What's that? Because I asked you that in the beginning. I know, I know. Go ahead and turn I, around and talk to me. It's not diagnosed. I don't have it. That's diagnosed. Um, so you're not on any medication? I did um, Benadryl. Um, I go into it and I feel like it's shock and um, highs and stuff. Sometimes when I get nervous. So that's all I think. So if, if it happens, I'm running that please. Absolutely, 100%. She was arrested and taken to the police station for further evaluation. The officers charged her with DUI. She could face up to six months in jail and a $1,000 fine with no less than $500. On March 16, 2023, Connecticut State Representative Robin Corney crashed her car shortly after leaving a restaurant. Moments later, several Hartford police officers came over to inspect her. What'd you have for dinner? Are they good? Huh? I didn't have anything for dinner. Then where, where were you going? I'd go around that bowl and then go straight back down. Alright, so you were coming this way towards the highway? Yeah. Okay. So how did we end up upside down here? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. After some consultation and seeing her move frantically, the cops decided to carry out some post sobriety tests. So you have some privacy. What's that? So you have some privacy? Yeah. Okay, so if you could stand right here for me. What I want to do is I want to do some tests to make sure you get to drive, okay? What's right. that? I said I would like to do some tests to make sure you get to drive, okay? I'm yeah. not driving. You're not driving anymore. No. You okay? Yeah. I, I said I want to make sure you are good to drive because the whole reason we're here is because your car is currently upside down on the road. Yeah. So I want to make sure you're good to drive. Yeah, I'm not driving. I understand you're not currently, okay? Yeah. All right, so can you stand right here for me? Yeah. Right on my flashlight beam, right there. What I would like you to do is put your feet together, like yeah. that, and hands by your side, outside your pockets, okay? Yeah. You got a space, there you go, okay. Okay? Yeah. All right, so you're not diabetic? Do you wear yeah. contacts or glasses? Yeah. What I'd like you to do is look at the tip of my pen with your eyes, and your eyes only, keep your head still, okay? Uh, you want me to... Yeah, I would just want you to follow the tip of my pen with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? I am. Outside your pockets? Almost done with this one. After visibly struggling with the eye test, the officers proposed another test to determine her condition. You can begin. One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna look like this, okay? Yeah. One, two, three. I did three, you're gonna do nine. Oh. On your ninth step, keep your front foot on the line and take a series of small steps and return with nine heel to toe steps on the line. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, What's that? I, I'm not sure. You don't want to continue? I, I don't know that I can do it. Huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. After clearly failing all of her sobriety tests, the officer finally decides to arrest Robin. Mom, can you put your hands behind your back corner?
I'm going to explain it to you. I'm going to bring it. Listen, I'm going to bring you over to my car so you have a little more privacy. Okay, when are you guys going to be able to bother it? Robin was arrested and was eventually charged with DUI as her blood concentration came out to be 0.144, much higher than the standard 0.08. She was suspended from her legislative duties and released a statement later to apologize for her arrest. She appeared in court and the judge granted her request for a probation program that would dismiss her DUI charge. Moving on. In August 2023 in Wisconsin, police officers were called to a neighborhood after a girl had crashed her car into a park one causing it to flip. Hang out over there for now, okay. okay? All right. Hello. Hi. Looks like you might have crashed your car, huh? Oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I'm Rachel. Nice to Rachel? meet you. Rachel? Eli, nice to meet you. What's going nice on? How'd this happen? I don't know. You're not sure? Yeah. It's your car? This is my vehicle, yes, yeah. obviously. Well, how did it end up on its side? Do you know? Did it just... I mean, obviously it didn't just... Right. Play I see a kid's seat. There wasn't a kid in here when this happened. No, okay. no, no children in here. Obviously, this didn't just happen by itself. Right. So that... Were you driving it? I obviously was driving the vehicle. Okay. The young girl's entitlement was on another level as the officers tried to reason with her. Have you had anything to drink tonight, Rachel? Um, no, I haven't. Just be honest with me. No, I it's not gonna like it's not gonna incriminate no, 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 you any further. No, or anything no, like no, that. I know. Nope, no. Nothing to drink, huh? Not since six p.m. Six p.m. So I would say a few hours then. Yeah. Like, what did you have at six? I had a what we considered a beer cocktail, beer I cocktail. guess. Okay. So here's the deal, Rachel. So here's the deal. I, I just, won't answer any more of your questions. You're not um, going to answer any more of my questions? No. Her entitlement was about to stop once the cops asked her to do a field sobriety test. What's your name? You can talk to my attorney. It's Rachel. He knows my name. Is it Rachel? I won't be answering any more of your questions. Okay. I think I've made that very clear. Are, are I you think... willing to perform any field tests for us tonight? No, I would not be willing to perform. You that. willing to do a PBT for us tonight? No. Okay, you're going to be under arrest for OWI. Okay. I got. It. What's up? I won't be talking with them. That's fine. You don't have okay. to say anything. She was eventually arrested and taken to the police station, where she was charged with first offense OWI. She was also cited for failure to maintain control, unsafe lane deviation, and no proof of insurance. If convicted, she could face up to one year in jail in no less than 48 hours. All right, folks, first on the radar, we've got Harrison caught rolling with a busted taillight. The officer tried to flag him down, but oh no, Harrison decided to play hard to get and pressed on to the store. What unfolds next when they finally cross paths is a story you won't want to miss. Second. My car was stopped and parked. Car off. I'm going to stop, work. bro. Ain't no stop. Come back here. I'm a grown man. Come back, come back here. Like that. Ain't no come back. Come back. You're getting bro, resisting. You're no resisting work. right now. I'm not resisting nothing. Come back. I'm buying a red bull to go to work. Let's what go. are you doing? Let's ain't go. No let's go. I'm grown. Don't go. touch me, man. Let's go. I'm grown. Ain't no let's go, bro. What's wrong with you, bro? What's wrong with you, bro? Let's go. Step it up. Bro, you got Come on. Right, got it. Hey, we're going back hey, outside. No, we're going where? We're going what, back what outside are you doing right to now. Me? What did you do to me? Nice. What did you do? Can you please bring up your no camera, ma'am? I'm going my, my go. job, right? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. My car. What, what is your reason for harassing me, man? And, and, and you Let's can run my, my plates. I got license and everything. What are you doing? You have a defective brake What light. are you that's doing? Why I, that's bro, why I stopped bro, you. Bro, you did not stop me, bro. You did not stop me. And your camera is showing that, bro. 
Let's go. What are you doing? We're Let's stepping. go what? We're stepping outside. Yeah, I'm stepping after I buy my Red Bull. Right now. After, no, no. Right now. No. You don't have that right. Yes, I do. You don't have that right. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You Where's my backup? Touch your back up. You better not touch me. I know you better not touch me. Man, please don't leave. You better not touch me. Traffic stop. You Let's better go. not put your hands on Let's me. Let's go. Or I'm suing your ass. Let's go. Touch me. We're walking outside. I ain't going nowhere. We're walking outside. I ain't, going, I ain't under arrest. Get up out of here. Step you outside. See you see? Please watch this, because if I die, I want my kids Step to outside. see what happened. Step please outside. Please record this. I ain't stepping nowhere. Please record it, man. Please record it, man. Record it. Record it. Go on, girl. Here. Why is my head being on the ground like this? Hey, we're good. You, you can breathe. Back and I can't breathe. Hey, I'm not good. Me. Hey, we're gonna I'm, no, he's on my butt and I can't breathe. We're going to put you on your side, buddy, okay? He'll help you out. Why am I in cuffs and I'm not arrested? Why am I being, I, I wasn't, why, why am I being arrested? Hey, 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 hey. I'm supposed to go to work to take care of my family. What's your name? First name. Harrison. Harrison. Okay, just take a deep breath. Bro, this is uncalled for, We're gonna bro. get you up, okay? I was not, uh, I was not under arrest. It wasn't a traffic stop. He had no right hey, to follow me hey, in man. this okay. store and do this to me. Is there anyone else in your car? Ain't nobody in my car. You shouldn't have seen you. Ain't nobody in my car, man. What's the reason I'm being detained? Because I was bro, never, it was never a traffic stop. Some... Why am I being detained again? Because I, I know I'm not under arrest. Well, you're, you're under arrest. Yes. Yeah, you're under arrest. So no injuries right now, but you might have I some later? Know. I don't know, bro. Okay. Well, you let me know. Following the incident, the male Karen found himself at the police station, facing charges for disorderly conduct and resisting an officer. Additionally, he received citations for non-registration of a vehicle, possession of and unauthorized parking in a handicapped space. Next up on June 12, 2022, police monitoring surveillance cameras identified 25-year-old Talise Machapatow walking along a bridge, and it turns out she had an active felony warrant for failure to appear. I don't give a f Why you gotta walk away from us? You know we're gonna drive. Dude, I was walking home for a f second to go check on old man. Man, you're me uh, asking you to stop though? No! Really commanding you to stop? It hurts me, Tom. Don't f command me, I'm not a f dog. Well, you have a warrant, so you have to talk to you and have to take your job. Where's that? So I can take it all. I don't have a f no, seriously. Have you knives or anything like that? Nope, I wish. Okay, do you want to understand something with them? Nope. Please? Nope. I request a female. We don't have a female officer. That's bullshit. Yeah, then you better take me to jail right away. Well, we're going to jail. Well, then re I request a female. Okay. No, have one. I want a female. Right? You need to yell at us. Don't touch me. Stop touching me. What you have to understand is I have. I don't care. I'm requesting a female. Nope. Right. There's not a female. Take me to in jail! Stop oh, touching stop. me! Stop! Good. Just lean against the No! I want a f***ing female! Now this is where she turns into a full Karen and loses it with these officers. Can I explain something to you? No! I have a right to request a f***ing yep. female! And I, and I asked... Then take me to f***ing jail! I asked... Don't ever start swinging off on you guys! I asked... Get the f*** off my phone! Stop! No! Take me to Jail. I asked if there was a. Jail. 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 Stop. Stop. No. Stop. 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 Here. Can't wait till terrorist threats. Yeah, for. Ass caught. Shortly after being detained, Talise was charged with felony counts of battery threat to an officer, bail jumping, discharging body fluids at an officer, misdemeanor counts of resisting and disorderly conduct.
Up next on June 9, 2022, a Hinsdale police officer was in the process of serving an arrest warrant to 46-year-old Sean Malarkey, who stands accused of allegedly hitting her ex-husband with her car. And evidently, silence isn't exactly her strong suit. Hey, step out of the car right now. Get out of the car. Ma'am, we'll talk about everything, but get out of the car. Yep. 20x today, we're in the garage, she's closing. Yep, step out. Excuse me, excuse step out. me. No, excuse me. Step out. Put your hands off of me. Step out of the car right no. now. Excuse yes. No. Step out of the car. Get your hands off Get of me. Get out of the car. No. You're under arrest. No, I am not. Yes, you are. No, I am not. Yes, you are. Get your hands off. Open this off garage door. You're wanted no. for a domestic battery. Yes, you are. Excuse me. I just sent a message and I am... Excuse me. Excuse me. Get out of the car right now. No. I told you I can handle this peacefully, but you have to get out of the car. No, you would never yeah. said that. You're obstructing right now. Do you no, understand No, you're that? obstructing. I'm not going to tell you again. No, I'm not going to tell you again. Get out of the car right This Karen thinks she can just get her way and continues to tell these officers off. Are you going to understand that my attorney has filed a motion to quash this? All right, I you just stand your knee. My attorney has filed a motion have, to quash this. You hit us, you do anything towards us, we're any charges done. If you hit us, or anything, let's go. You've already hit me. I didn't you hit you. Me. I asked you out of the car. I told you you're under arrest. Now you got a whole show for your neighbors here. You are a dick. Jennifer. My children don't have anybody at home right now. Resume, You're going to put my kids alone in danger? I need to call my attorney. I'm not getting in that car until I call my attorney. That's I'm calling my... No, I'm calling my attorney. It's not going to happen. No, I'm calling my attorney. I'm going to tell you. Right fucking now. I know, no, no, I'm calling right my now you're under No, I'm I calling my attorney. Sit in the car. My children are home alone. I'm giving you an order. Sit in the car. We will my get your father here. here. We are home, home the car. alone. My children are home okay. alone. We will and take I'm care home. of your children. Miss Malarkey's court case of the domestic battery was dropped, but she was still charged with felony aggravated DUI, her third DUI with a child passenger, felony aggravated assault to an officer, misdemeanor count of resisting, and received a citation for the transportation or possession of opened alcohol. A week later, additional charges were filed against her for endangering the health or life of a child. Now, if you thought that woman was crazy, wait till you meet this Karen. On March 19, 2023, in Wisconsin, Kayla makes a fateful call to 911 to scare her abusive boyfriend. But little did she know, the situation would take an unexpected turn as law enforcement arrived on the scene. Police department! We're not leaving, come to the door. Open the door. I have to go to work. No, I have to go to work. Okay. I'm not willing to be late for work. Okay, what's going on? I have to nothing. Okay. Nothing. I have to go to work. I don't even know why you guys are here. Get away from me, please. You're making me feel I want the chief of police here. Okay. Whoever the supervisor is, I want here. Okay, he's coming. Okay, I have to go to work. I don't have time for this, sir. Who's in the apartment with you? Me? Okay, who else? So you called them. No, I didn't. I don't know who called you. I did call you. What's your phone number? Six oh three. I have to get ready, sir. Okay. I have to go to work. We got a, I have to go to work. A, we got a call. Hello. Hi. Oh. Okay. So that's why, the number that called nine one one. I actually, have, I actually have two different numbers. On that's my phone. the number that called nine one one. Oh, you're right. It was. After she denied that she made the call and claimed that the number that placed the call wasn't hers, the officer behind her caught her red-handed and realized she was lying. But little did anyone know how intense the situation was about to become. I'm gonna go to work, sir! What the f*** are you doing? Oh my god, stop! Get the f*** away from me! Get the f*** away from me! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Oh my god! My baby's in there! My baby's in there! No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Please! <laughs> 
stop. He's in the bathroom, guys, in the bathroom. Please go get him. No way, no, he can't find us. Officer! I can't breathe. He just chased my boyfriend for no reason. I don't want to lose my apartment. No, you are, you are. You! He just lost his job. I can't afford to lose my job. Please help me. After finally admitting the truth about the call, she essentially lied to the police, which is punishable by up to nine months in jail. Guys did all of this. He up. thought that you were hurting me. Of course he came out here to help me. He thought you guys were hurting me. Okay, you called 911. You just him. Yeah. He wasn't doing anything. Okay. Put little, your legs inside. Sir, I have put to. Put your legs inside. I'm the trying to talk to you like a normal person. Put your legs inside the vehicle. Please talk to no, me. No. Put your legs inside the vehicle right now. Can you please talk to me? No, put your legs Can you put the window down? We can roll the window down. Can I please be in the know? I want to know what's happening. Right. Guys, please, I have I have to work. Can I go to jail? No, you're not going to jail. You're under arrest right now. I didn't do anything, sir. Yes, you did. So I'm going right. to lose put, the work at noon. Please. Put your leg in. Put your, please. Put your leg in. Please. Or you will go to jail. Please. Put your leg in the car. Ah. No, you're going. All right, no. no, okay, no, I'm, sorry. no I'm sorry. Put your leg Put, put your leg in the window down, please. Put your leg okay, in the car. Please put the window down a little put bit. Put your leg in the car. It's just a little bit. While it was a mistake for Kayla to call 911 in the first place, she could have easily said sorry and went on with her day. But after committing multiple crimes, the cops also found that her real name is actually Shakira Flabbergasted. And in the end, she was charged with resisting an officer in disorderly conduct. Next up, on the 17th of January, 2022, Officer Banks from the Florida Police Department pulled over this Karen driver for going 54 in a 35 mile per hour zone. But the encounter takes a wild turn as she confidently believes that she doesn't need a license while operating a vehicle. Young lady, Officer Banks, Gulf Breeze Police Department. I'm pulling you over to do a 54 and a 35. Any reason for that speed tonight? Where's the 35? Uh, before you got off the bridge, and uh, as soon as you came off the bridge, all this is 35. I was going 40, I thought. Nope. You got your license, registration, proof of insurance. You don't have to have a license to drive a car. Yes, yeah, yes, you do. You do not. 15, 7, 41 with me. Ma'am, step out the vehicle. Step out the vehicle. Am I, am I, you, am you're, I not a crime? Yeah, you are being detained right now. Step out the vehicle, young lady. I, you need to get a supervisor yeah. out here right now. No, you need to step out the you vehicle right now. Young lady, right step now. out the I vehicle. Right. Step out the vehicle. Last time I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask, and then I'm going to make you move, step out the vehicle. You're going to get me a supervisor out here right now. No, you're going to step out the vehicle right now. You are going to get me a supervisor out here right now. That's fine. We, I know my rights. What right is that? I, I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a car. I am not, this is not a commercial vehicle. Okay. Shortly afterwards, a supervisor arrives at the scene and puts this Karen in her place. To drive a vehicle. Okay. Sorry, Turner. A, she won't identify. She won't produce a driver's you, license. She's doing driver? 58. Yes. Okay. I do not have, have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Let, let, let my officer speak first, then I'll speak to you. Her vehicle was stopped for speeding. 54 and 35 coming off the bridge. She asked me where the speed limit was saying that. It's before she got off the bridge. She actually did a U turn. We were in the 35 zone. Mm -hmm. We pull over here. I introduce myself. I said, the reason, any reason why we're driving this fast? And I say, you got your license. She immediately goes into, I don't need a license to drive the vehicle. Okay. And then she said, I am traveling. Okay. So, you do need a license to drive the vehicle. And you do have to identify yourself to these officers. I, I do not have to have a license to drive a vehicle. Yes, you do. I do not. Well, you're wrong, but okay. I know common law, natural law. I don't law, care about common law. law. You're in the state of Florida. You don't, you're in the you're state in of Florida. Law. You're in the state it of Florida. It doesn't matter in what state It I'm does in. matter. I'm in the U.S. It does matter. I so, you better hope the information you gave us comes back as to being you. So at this point in time, I need you to shut the vehicle off and step out of the car. I'm, I'm not getting out of the vehicle. You're going to get out of the car. I haven't been suspected of a crime. You are being legally stopped on a traffic stop. You are not being it's cooperative. It is not a Terry stop. What Trust me, I know the difference. You were speeding. speeding. Turn the vehicle off and get out of the car. Turn, off, face away Turn around. I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Yes, you do. No, I do not. Well, then you can tell that to the judge if you end up going to jail. I 
do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. I have all the laws right there. I don't care what I don't care what laws you say you I have. I know that you don't care because you, you're, then you, you're supposed then to be you, a police officer. Then you should a know that officer. this is that you should know that this conversation's over there. As if things couldn't get crazier, officers searched her car and found that she was carrying a plastic bag with a white powdery substance in it. Stand by. Excuse me. Give me your full name. Give me your full name. Look at me, give me your full name. Give me your full name. Drugs inside the vehicle, you are under, under arrest now for possession of felony narcotics. I didn't give y'all permission to search my vehicle either. Your vehicle's being towed, we're inventorying it, we're not searching it. This Karen was charged with the possession of cocaine, DUI of alcohol or drugs, and operating a motor vehicle without a license. On August 25th, 2022, Florida local deputies pulled over a Chevrolet sedan for reckless lane swerving. Little did these officers know that what seemed like a routine traffic stop was about to take a surprising turn with a 20-year-old female driver. Hi. Hi, Deputy Schwartz, I can't share service. Reach for a stop is roll over the road back there. Got a cut. Hey, can I cut right, right, right across the center? You okay? Okay. License, registration, proof insurance. Yeah. I don't have insurance. I do have insurance, but I don't think I have. I never right, right. got the, um... So we'll talk more about it. Oh, hang on a car for me. Stay in the car for me. I'll be right back. Do me a favor. Step out of the car for me. Here's the deal. Pulled you over for a lane violation. Got all over the place. Okay. There's an odor of alcohol present in the vehicle as I'm speaking to you. Okay. From, from your breath as I talk to you. Okay. For your use of standardized field sobriety tasks, I want you to show me you're able to operate a motor vehicle without impairment. You understand? I did it right now. What if I had a ride? You can't call Ryan. We're not calling an Uber. We're not doing anything. You're driving your car. I want to make sure that you're able to get in your car and drive home. Well, I'm going to ride home. No. We're not leaving your car here. You're in your vehicle. Why? Wow. And I have to make sure you're safe enough to drive in your current condition. Okay? Because you were driving when I made contact with you, right? Yeah. Yeah. What if I ride home? Like, what if I'm on, like, what if I park my car and then my mom? No, no. Like, why are you one game got me? No, no. Well, I don't know why, like, me. Was that me swerving or something? Yeah, leave, ex over? leaving your lane, driving completely over the center lane of travel. Are you on your phone? Is there something to explain? I don't what know that, anything what, I'm like drinking, like yeah, I don't know. Well, I can smell alcohol coming from your breath even as you're standing here outside of the vehicle. Okay. Okay. I'm being drunk that way. Well, you know, I don't know. And it's my job to make sure you're not impaired before you get in your car and drive home from here. I'm not going to drive from there. Why can't my mom come and get it's me not there? not an option. It's you drive home or you don't drive home. Why? Why can't one come and get me? It's not an option. Okay? Why? Because you're an operator of a motor vehicle and you were driving. But I'm home. not going to drive. You were driving though, a car in this condition. You were driving a, a car in this condition. Okay. So it's already, you know, like I said, we're not calling anybody. We're not calling an Uber. You're not All calling right. for a ride. All right. That's good then. Okay. So you want to participate? Well, you first. Okay. Call her and tell her? No. You're not calling Why? her. Why? Because you are an adult. Okay. And you were driving a car. And I'm going to make sure you're able to drive a car safely home. But I still have a home though, so like, why can't I call her and tell her that, yeah, I am doing this? You don't have, you're not calling Why can't she be here though? Why? Why? Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on, okay? Um, right now, are you sick or injured? No, I'm not. Okay. But I can't call my mom and tell no, her. No, you cannot make, you cannot call anybody. You cannot make any phone calls, right? I'm just going to come get me. I'm just going to come be here. After the deputies approached the vehicle, they couldn't ignore the unmistakable scent of alcohol and the driver's erratic behavior immediately signaling a classic case of DUI in their minds. Yet, in a bizarre twist, this 20-year-old, seemingly not taking life seriously enough, believes she could somehow maneuver her way out of the situation. Are you diabetic to be taken soon? Because you're an adult and you're driving a car and we're not calling, we're not, this isn't phone a friend, this isn't call for a ride. You're, I'm not you're, calling right, her right a ride, I'm right just calling her a car like tell her like they like, to I'm conducting a that? DUI investigation, and I want to make sure okay, that you're yeah, safe to drive home. And I don't need your mom here. Okay, you're an adult, okay? But that is not an option right now. But I say I'm 20 years old, though, and it still matters. Okay, we're not calling anybody. Okay. For this first one, let me come back here. Alexa, we're going to stay right here. We're staying right Why here. Is it true, Why is it true, Why is it true, Because everything's being audio and video recorded, okay? And it's our policy to have two okay, officers. Everybody. It's 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 our policy to have two officers present while we're doing a DUI investigation, okay? Can you call my mom? Yeah. No, not an option. Stay over there. And you need to step away. Okay. So I need you to stand here and face me if you'd like to participate. Okay. We're going to stand right here. Why can't you be here? Because it is not an option. I've explained to you that you're an adult 
and I'm conducting an investigation. Now, as they begin the standard field sobriety test, the young woman appears confident, even attempting to crack jokes to lighten the mood. They're just like that, okay? Can you see the red tip of my finger right here? Yes. Okay, you're gonna follow with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? It's gonna move side to side, we're just gonna follow with our eyes. Do you understand? Do you get that many times? Other times? Okay. We're, we're getting there. I mean, I've been with like people before who, I mean, I've been in my first time, so I think I know how it works. Like, I think it's just keep, Just keep following with your eyes and eyes only. It's gonna go up and down now, okay? Does it last this long? Yes, it does. It does? Yep. Not matter being this long. Well, we're not trained in DUI investigation. Well, I mean, I've been through a DUI. Okay, so. that doesn't mean you're I mean, trained in DUI. Right you are arguing with me. Right now, I'm not right? arguing. I'm just saying I've been through this, so. Do you see their stimulus, okay. the red tip of my finger? Because sometimes top star people, okay. or like they shouldn't. I'm just saying, like they do, like they have power over like others. Like it's okay. not. Okay. Would you like to continue? I'm just saying. So I'm not saying you. I'm just saying, like Sorry, there's like top people, like maybe okay. have power over like other. Okay. And it's not worth it. So. Okay. You see the red tip? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna follow. It's gonna go up and down now. Okay. Yeah, good, pass, right, pass. Okay. No, we're going to continue. Okay, we'll continue. Can I call my mom now? No. Why? Why? I've told you a million times you're not calling. Why? Uh, so why, though? You're, you're an adult. Why? You're an adult, and she is not going to be present for this, okay? So we're going to continue, okay? After the first test, the woman grows cocky and then tries to debate with the cops. Correctly, it's fun, he'll feel fashion, just like that. Could you get in that position for me? Yeah. Just like okay. that. Sir, doing this right here, but I thought something in a normal line now. Well, you can use an imaginary line. When I instruct you to begin, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps along that line. Your first what? step, your first step is with your left foot. Seven, eight, nine, right? Right? Touch your tip of your nose. This is not a DUI thing. You bring back down so your side without this? being instructed. Can I just yeah? know why am I doing this? It's not a UI thing. When I say right, so, no. you do the same thing. Can you I take the right know? tippy tippy <laughs> finger. <laughs> Touch the tip of your nose Please. and bring Wait. it back down your side Let's without being This 20 year old driver genuinely believes she can talk her way out of this situation and continues to have a big mouth with the officer. Ma'am, you need to stay over there. That's fantastic. You need to stay over there. You need to stay over there. If you ask another question, it's going to be obstruction. Don't. Okay. Don't. <clears throat> no. Would you like me to explain and demonstrate again? No, but I'm, I'm, I've done, I've been through this before. Okay. So do you want to participate or should we move on? We, it's just, we've already moved on many times. Okay, this is the next, this is the last one. This is the last one I ask you to participate. Okay. okay. So again, feet together like I have. Again. Okay. Toes and heels together. Pointing fingers. All right, I've never done it before though, so is this, well, is this I'm you making it up? I'm explaining and demonstrating. You're making this up? It's standardized, I'm not making anything up. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. It's tough to make things up though. Okay. It's not being me like the well, many cops. I'm, I'm they, not they, 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 they make I'm twitching their brains. I'm not making anything up. So again, feet together, pointing fingers, down our side. They are. Do you want me to explain it? Do you want me to explain again? Yeah, please do. Okay. So point your finger down your side. When I, ex when I, tell you to, you're gonna close your eyes and tell the chair back, okay? You don't have to do it yet, just watch me, okay? I'm gonna call out a series of commands, okay? I'm gonna say left. When I say left, you take the left tip, tip of your finger, touch the tip of your nose, just like that, okay? Like my head's in your back, or you're, I'm gonna have yes. my head fixed? You're gonna have your head back and your eyes closed. But your head's not back. I'm explaining it, demonstrating, okay? okay well, you're not demonstrating for me. You're I am. Not I'm not going me. to tilt my head back or close my eyes in front of you. I'm not gonna do that, okay? okay? So, again, I've said left, when I say right, Take the right tippy tip of your finger and touch the tip of your nose, just like that. Bring it back down your side without me telling you to do so, okay? Do you have any questions? Here? Yep, this thing. Well, why do you have that though? Why do you have that? It's part of the test. How far do you have that? About 45 degrees, just like that. Is this something you're making up? Because when I remind you, I, I say, I'm like, sure like, you're not making it up. I'm just asking, I'm just asking. It's like, standardized, it's standardized field sobriety task, okay? But, but my sobriety test, it wasn't like this though. They proceed with the final field sobriety test, and this is where things take a turn for this overconfident female driver, clearly under the influence. 
I just told you, okay? You don't have to bend over backwards, that's a little far. Okay, okay. About, 40, about 45 degrees, just like okay. that, okay? By your finger to my nose, right? By I'm gonna tell you which finger you use. Right? Touch your finger okay. to your nose, okay? Okay. Eyes closed, right? Or eyes open? Eyes closed the entire time. Okay. Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. What? Right. And left. Done. Yep, you're all done. Mm -hmm. right. You are going to be placed under arrest for DUI. So oh, place God. your hands behind your back. No, I'm not. Do not resist me, okay? Place your hands behind your back. Am I you all that for... Mom! Going away, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Put your hands together. Shoot that. Another chalk. You're getting resisted. Stay back! Stay back! I'm not going to Stay back! She's getting charged with it! I'm on probation, Mom! Violation, too. But this thrilling story doesn't just end here. Our young protagonist had one last trick up her sleeve, or so she thought she did. Instruction. I wonder who arrested her last. Me. I'm leaving. Okay. Right. You need anything for me? No. Uh, First, let's check her cuffs. Yeah. Step out. Why? Because I think you undid your cuffs. Step out. No, I didn't. Turn that way, then. Why does it matter? Because I'm checking your handcuffs now. Turn that way. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Let go of me. Then let go of me. I'm not resisting. Pulling I did not Pulling away is resisting. Hey. She's a Nat's ass away from going for obstruction. Really? That's why I thought you She said it's another foot over here. Why did you just hold your eye for no reason? Hmm? Why do you, why do you hold your eye for no reason? Y'all my, why are y'all on my car? Right, I passed everything. I passed everything now. I passed everything now. So I passed, I passed though. Why? But I passed, but I passed. So why can't I talk to my mama? I only talked to her for one second. Let me talk to her then. Let me talk to her. Let me talk to her. Have a seat. Yo! Get him on my car, please, mom! Get in the car. Get in the car. Please, mom! In the end, after multiple attempts to outsmart the cops, the 20-year-old driver pleaded no contest to DUI, resisting arrest, possession of alcohol by a person under 21, and refusal to submit to testing. As a result, she received a sentence of one-year probation, a one-year suspension of her license, and 50 hours of community service. First up, on the unforgettable Thanksgiving day of November 24, 2022, the St. Pete police officers found themselves chasing down a reckless driver evading a stop. Little did they anticipate that behind the wheel was going to be an entitled millionaire Karen who was firmly convinced that she stood above the law. Stop her. Shut the car off, man. Shut the car off. Thanksgiving. I just got a divorce. My daughter's not with me. Can you step out the car, please? What in the is this? I'm trying to get a home. Step out the car, please, ma'am. Yes, sir. What? Is no. Please, no. What are you doing? Are you kidding me? Can somebody come to your car, please? No. I don't have anybody. Okay. You guys, please don't. I just got a divorce. Okay. I'm trying to move. Please don't do this. What are you doing? How come she's allowed out? Ah! Like, why are you letting her through when I can't get through? Do you realize what you did, though? I'm trying to get to my neighborhood. Seriously, guys. I just got a divorce from the most evil man ever. I'm moving in like a, two days. I need to get off this island. Please, I really, I'm sorry. You I just killed one of these people running. You know that? No, I did not. You could have killed. One I of didn't. People wasn't running. anywhere near them. They told me to beat the people over here. Now this is what this overactive Karen gets for thinking the entire world revolves around her. You're in handcuffs. You're arrested. All right. I can't change that. It for is what? what? It, fleeing and eluding. It is what it is. If you <laughs> continue to life. do that, I'm telling you. you, you <laughs> my life. You're gonna. <laughs> I just went through. 
went through. Like at all. I just want to go home. You don't get it. I went through a three year divorce. I took all my money. I'm fighting for my kid back. I mean, I don't know how to surface. Listen, I'm sorry that you had to go through that. No, like, I'm going to lose my daughter today, too. All right. Help me though, this is hard. Look at my arms. Hey ma'am. Look, Please. you're killing me. Okay. You're killing me. <laughs> this is what happens when you were never told no as a child. Brace yourselves for the words she chooses to utter next. And, and 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 what am I up? Some black like kid on a bike who's in the wrong neighborhood? Why? And you guys beat me down with all this pepper spray? Like because that's what you guys do. Oh, I, I didn't you guys know are, that. yeah, you're treating me like one of those kids on a bike that drove up from like, like the, the yeah. Well, now you're being ignorant. No, I'm, I'm really not. not. Yeah, no, that's ridiculous. No, you're I, definitely treating me like no, a colored person. Yep. After having a big mouth, her karma certainly caught up with her as she was arrested that day and charged with two counts of felony fleeing and one count of resisting in the end. However, her case is still ongoing. Next up, police from Solon, Ohio noticed a red car swerving and driving erratically through traffic. Behind the wheel was Dorisha Mitchell. They pulled her over, but they did not know the kind of madness that was about to unfold from this manipulative Karen. You're driving. When you pulled that little stunt over there, how you cut everybody off and accelerate like a, like a crazy I person? I wasn't. Ma'am, there's just traffic heavy here. There's no need for that. That's caused accidents. So I need your license. Because your driving is horrible. There's no need for it. You could have caused two or three accidents. No, I was driving so I wouldn't cause no accidents. No, you were driving aggressively. I was getting away from the traffic because you they, know were what? Going, they wasn't even going There's to There's bumper to bumper traffic at 91 at this hour. You should not be driving that way. You were so lucky that you didn't cause an accident. No, I wasn't doing 91. And then the lady was, wasn't even doing the speed limit that I was behind, so I went beside her. Do you know what the speed limit is right here? It's not what she was doing. She What's was doing the speed limit here? No, it's 25. Oh. Well, she wasn't doing 25. She was doing at least like 15. Well, she can do 15. I went, she can do 15, but yeah. I can't do over. You over. can't drive aggressively and you so change she, lanes. So, so she can do 15. Why is it? Because of her race. She doesn't feel safe. That's that's not a violation, 15 and 25. It's that's just slow speed. That's No. So you allowed to go slow in the 25? Well, that's your judge of how fast she's going. Did you have her on, on radar or something? No, she or? Was going to the and stuff, sir. Well, okay, that's fine. But you can't be aggressive like that, whipping out. You don't have the right of way to change the lane unless it's clear. You can use any signal. Was, oh, you just cut I it did, over. No, you I just cut it, it over and get it. I did. All right. I need your license. I need your insurance. Okay, that's a license. I don't have You don't have insurance? I do have insurance. I, I don't have my insurance card with me. Okay. Can you bring it up on your phone or no? I'll be back. After running her license through the system, what the officer finds out next puts Dorisha in a real tough situation. Come out of the car for me, please. I need you to step out of the car. Yeah, and I'm asking Your license is suspended. Okay, my license is done. I just made a payment. It's not it's battery. Well, and then we go by the computer, and the computer is suspended. Do you have any paperwork on you? So anyway, I need you to step out of the car. Because I asked you, so please step out of the car. Step out of the car, ma'am. Step out of the car. Okay. Well, ma'am, but we still you have to follow his orders and step out, and we'll talk about it back in his vehicle, okay? Uh, we're yeah, gonna go back here because we don't want. You're not under arrest right now. Just, we're just gonna come back. So this just way. stay. Come on out of the car. We got paperwork to do. All right, leave your purse there for me. All right, you don't have anything on you. No weapons, anything like that? No. no. Okay, we're going to put you in the back of the car. You're going to come back to In the back of my ear? No, the police car. You have nothing yeah. on you? What's in your pocket right there? In your right pocket? Huh? Nothing? Yeah. Okay. Why? Just because I'm black, don't me, I got weapons. No. What's going on? We ask everything. Now, it's vital to notice this small accusation of racism from Dorisha as she tries playing the race card against these officers later on to let her go. You're not under arrest. Okay, we're just having you have a seat in the back of his car, okay? Um, you said your driver's license, you weren't, you're not aware it's suspended or what's going no, on with okay. that? I need a, I have to have an SR-22 for my license to be uh, valid. Okay. And I paid it, but by it being a Saturday, it doesn't, 
It's not going to go through. I got paid yesterday. Okay, did you so, pay it today or did you pay it I paid, yesterday? I paid it today. And it's you not paid it today. Be, uh, it's do you have a receipt show that shows you paid it? Okay. Okay. Oh. She don't want to talk to me. She wants to be on the phone, so I'm not oh. I'm not going to stand where she's on the phone. She wants to talk to me. She wants to talk to me. If not, she can sit on her phone. Now, this is where things take a dramatic turn. Stay away from the car. This is my car. Stay away from the car. Stay away from the car. Okay, I was getting Joe, get in, there. Joe get in your truck and go. Get in your truck and go. That is so racist. Y'all is so racist. Oh, everything's racist. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's what that's all do. it is. That's all, that's it's all, all excuse you got. That is what it is. The fact that you don't have a driver's license, no insurance, expired tags. I do have a driver's license. It's nothing to do with anything. It's our fault, right? Just because other people don't want to do it the right way doesn't mean we're not. It's not the right way. Y'all just racist as fuck. Okay, all right, we're out of here. You know what? We're done. She wants to pull that car. We're out of here. We're out of here. We're out of here. We're not gonna. We're not gonna. We're not gonna talk about them. We're not gonna entertain that childish behavior. Ma'am, what are you doing? Shut up. Isn't it? You're not getting shut in the car. Up. You're not getting in the car. Get away from the car. Don't tell me to get away from the car. Get away from the car. Like I said, shut up. No, you shut up. No, you shut up. No, I'm not going to. Do something. Get away from the car. Get away from the car. Do something. Get away from the car. Do something. Do something. Get away no, from the car. Something. Get outside. I want my driver like that. Jump that hard. Okay. No, I am about to record them, and I'm showing them in court. You're racist, and he been you're, racist. You're already on, the, you're on video, too, okay. so go ahead and step he aside. Been racist All right, let's get out of here, guys. Let's get out. Watch as the racist accusing Karen, fueled by rage and entitlement, attempts to physically confront a police officer when things don't go her way. Ma'am, you're going to get okay. You have to step away from the vehicle. Get out of the road. Why is it touching get out of the roadway. In the end, things backfired for Karen as she was indicted for two charges resisting arrest and first-degree misdemeanor as well as assault on a police officer, a fourth-degree felony. But that's nowhere as bad as this next lady. During the COVID pandemic, refusing to wear her mask, Louisa Pasonic attacked a Muslim family at a Florida supermarket for no reason whatsoever. Muslims. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, 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 yes. Go ahead. Um, here we go. Um, here we go. I'm tipping you. I'm tipping you. Kiss my ass. Oh, I love your garb. You look like a. Yeah. Oh, pull that up. Pull that up, honey. Yeah, pull. Ahead, Ugly women. Hi, I'm at Walgreens. They're, these guys are calling me. They're, they're, they're here in our country. In our country. In our country. Get the out of my face. Get her out. See, see, listen. This guy is threatening me. This guy is threatening me. Ladies, move back. Will you please Walgreens on 17th Street? I'm calling you right now. Move back. No, you you threaten me. You threaten me. This. She's filming me. She's filming me. And he, he's calling me. And he's calling me. And he says he's going to throw me on the ground. He said, he said, 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 said that he's going to throw me okay. on the ground. You need to put your mask on. bunch of idiots here. You need to put your mask on. Yeah. I am having there's a man threatening to hurt me. Get out of my face, honey. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. You want me to spit on you again? You need a mask, ma'am. Want me to spit on you ugly? I swear to you, if what you do ugly, that again, I'm gonna hit you. I swear to you, I'm gonna hit you. Why do you wear clothes like that? You don't come by in the people. How do you come and in there's Muslims here. God, you're ugly. No wonder yeah. people hate you. Israel, hate Israelis I rule. I know. Israelis, I know. Rule. I know. Israelis rule. Israelis rule, because you guys are ugly.
leave them alone. They're I human. The police. No, they're not. Okay. Human. No, we're not. After this Karen called the police, they arrived at the scene, and this body cam footage will show us what happens next. Yes. And you probably put yourself in the position to listen to that. That's a typical man. Typical. Typical man to say that. Ma'am, no. no weapons on you or anything like that? No, here. No, no. That's okay. Stand up for me, please. No. I'll just make sure you have no weapons look on like, you. Look, I don't even have I don't pockets. know. Turn around. I don't want to touch don't you. I don't have pockets. Great. Under arrest for battery. I didn't do any battery. No, when you spit on people, that's I battery. Did, no, I did not. Listen, he verbally abused uh, well, me. Well, that doesn't give you the right to spit on him. Guess what? <laughs> you verbally abused me as soon as I got here. Did I spit on you? No, You're in arrest for battery. No, nope, yep, hurts. definitely doing that. Hurts. that. Yeah, they're handcuffs. They're not for comfort. Can Let's I go. take my purse? Absolutely. Come on. Oh, Let's please go. don't. No, oh, don't no. You're definitely me, going to jail. Let's go. Walk. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. uh, can I leave my car here? Uh, that's absolutely fine. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is unbelievable. Yep. Unbelievable. Officer. Officer, this is unbelievable. Let's go. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, I'll get a good attorney. God bless you. Yep. God bless me. God, because I'm a Christian. I, Christians don't talk like you. No, but you know what? N no. I just went through. Can I put okay. that in my purse, please? I, I need to collect your property. You are a prisoner now. I need to collect your belongings. I've never been a prisoner. Well, you are tonight. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you, you okay, 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 can you okay, apologize okay, too? I apologize. I'm not a racist. I have friends that are Muslim. Okay? I have friends that are Muslim. Oh, that hurts. You're hurting my hands. Well, they're handcuffs. Uh, they're not for comfort. Well, I've never had handcuffs. So that's a no. Okay, so Except those when, when those was, same Muslims uh, that you were talking shit to just decided your fate and they elected to not prosecute. You. God bless you. Yeah, God bless them. Because yeah. if it was up to me, you'd be going to jail. Come on, officer, please. But that's they decided as the victim that you were not going to jail. Oh, I suggest you watch your mouth because well, the particular... Shut up. Listen. The particular oh group God, that you decide to mouth off to... We're professional and we're nice. Some people might kick you in your face and then we're gonna come pick up the pieces. So I suggest you watch your mouth. As this lady is about to get arrested for battery, things took an unexpected turn as the victim decided to drop the charges against this crazy old Karen in the end and let her free. Up next, 58-year-old Esmeralda Upton uses racial slurs during a physical attack on a group of Indian American women outside a restaurant. <laughs> We were not talking to you. You came here. Get lost. Oh, oh, oh. Come, come closer. Come closer. Oh my God, guys, record. She's hitting me. She's hitting me. Oh, oh my God. Oh, she's oh my God. Oh, she's hitting me. She's hitting me. Uh, she's, uh, she's a white woman wearing a black dress. No, I'm not white. I'm Mexican. She's Mex I'm Mexican. And I paid my way here. Oh my God, she's hitting my friend now. I am not hitting your friend. You guys are all about I don't know, but she just hit my hand. Now watch as she continues to provoke these people. Please, I'm, I'm just here. Yes, if life is so great in India, she's, why the f*** are you here? I don't know if you can see. Why is she coming back? She's coming back. This is a country that I am a naturalized citizen. You're not a born and raised Don't engage. Why are you here? Don't engage. Because you are not my friend. You're just, no, nobody, you're, not you're my a friend. stranger. And you have no mm -hmm. right to come and talk to us. No, like you're this. right. You know what, ma'am? You're right. Ma'am, I'm sorry. Ma'am, ma'am, I am sorry. You know what? Please. Please. No, I'm not Please. Okay, well, Please. you. Don't Peace. Me. I'm trying to reach out. Peace. Please. I overstepped my bounds, and I'm no, sorry. She's suddenly apologizing and saying peace. I don't know what that means, but... But please have them come here please, because yeah, we are please, not feeling safe here. You don't feel safe right now. What? Well, I'm not going to hurt you guys. Look at me. I'm all of 100 pounds. And you guys oh. weigh well over 200 pounds. <laughs> so she's, 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 she's Stop she's videoing like, me. I swear to God, I will break the camera. Stop! 
I'm walking away. I'm leaving y'all alone. Turn the cameras off. You too. I'm going to go to the restaurant. Let's just go to the restaurant. Oh my god, now she's going to the third friend. She's yeah, yeah. She's coming back. Stop woman! And she's she's Oh my god, she's please come. Please get here quickly. Shortly after, the piano police arrived at the scene and arrested this Karen on assault and terroristic threat charges. Next up, this British woman's Karen superpowers kicked in when she decided to make this racist rant while on the local train. You weren't English. No, I'm not. No, you weren't English either. You weren't English. None of you English. Get back to your own. Do you know what? So at your own countries. Don't come and do mine. Britain is nothing now. Britain is cool. My Britain is cool now. Britain's fuck all. My British is Excuse me, there's little kids and the trump. Yeah, it's fine. Man, we have to take I've got a little kid here. Have respect, yeah? yeah? Have, have respect, respect for little boys here. We don't I've use got, those words. I've got a little boy here. Yes, well, I'm get sorry. off the trump then. And you. Did someone need to chew you up? Really? Yes! I dare you. I fucking dare you. Just watch your language, man. Don't watch my language. <laughs> Go back to where you come from. Go back to some... After saying the horrible things that she said, Karen was arrested in the end for racially aggravated harassment. Up next, this 38-year-old Toronto man, Paul Samplin, went on a 30-minute tirade yelling at a woman TTC bus driver using racist language and posted his own video online. Yo, this one will open the door, bro. You open the door, I pay your salary, my taxes for 25 years. You open the door. Nah, bro, I'm not taking this racism from this piece of shit. Bro, I'm a taxpayer and this is the, what I get for paying taxes for 25 years, bro. And cat, this is a, this is a racist America with this ex slave and she thinks I'm Anglo Saxon and she doesn't want to open the door. I died at work, bro. I died at work to pay this salary and these won't let me on the bus, bro. I live down the street, I have a Mercedes in my driveway. Yo, I'm a taxpayer for 25 years, bro. She sees the tattoos and jewelry and tries to blame. We're not doing that. I live up the street at three feet in a four million dollar house, bro. And she's trying to treat me like a guy on Jane Street. She won't let me on the bus with my Presto card. I'm a taxpayer for 25 years. No, hit me with the bus, please. I want a lawsuit, please. You cannot refuse services for paying customers. Am I crazy? You cannot refuse services for paying customer. I'm a taxpayer for 25 years. Check with the CRA. Thank you. You see that? I'm back on. I paid my fare. You see that? Look, free transfer. Why? Because the fare was paid. Because you try to blow by the white guy with tattoos and jewelry. Because you don't have 30,000 on your neck. What do you have on your Is that right? You saw the man with 30 grand on his neck and figured, hey, let me punk him and let me f close the door on him, right? Because you have a rubber band and I got a gold bracelet. What? Are you going to go count some drug money later? Listen to me. Listen to me, you stupid bimbo. Hey, stupid bimbo, let's shut the f up. You piece of monkey. You will not f speak to me like this. Guys, you can have your bus back. However, after performing like a Karen, this man's karma couldn't escape him as he was charged with mischief, intimidation, and causing a disturbance in the end. On May 5th of 2023, officers were dispatched to the airport in response to a highly intoxicated woman who was harassing random people and refusing to leave the bar. The Karen in question also believed because she lives in Germany, she couldn't be arrested. Well, isn't she in for a shock? Oh. She keeps coming in and bothering this no, guy. He no. said he doesn't know him. So let's ask her to leave. He doesn't want to Okay. okay. So you gonna go sit down for me? Her back she, she didn't have anything in no, the No, no, she, she has it. He said he doesn't want to. Do she keeps going to this guy. And he said, I don't even know. You know she, this is the only bag she brought That's in? That's the only bag she just gave okay. me. Okay. Appreciate it. You okay? Yeah? Okay. Are you traveling you alone? We all speak Arabic. Are you with somebody? With them. Who's them? Them. Over there. Where are you flying to? Those people? Them? I don't think they're with you. No. Yeah, she looked guy. away real fast. 
I had a lot of wine. You had a lot of wine? Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, we can tell. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah. So are you traveling alone? Listen to what I'm saying. Focus. Are you traveling alone? Yes I'm or no? I'm focusing and they're lying. Okay? Are you traveling alone? Yes or no? I am. Okay. All right. Where's your Where's your ID? Over here. Can I see it? Of Can I get course. it out for you? Yeah. So what you want from me? Your driver's license or your ID or whatever My kind ID. of identification you have and your okay. boarding pass. So what? So Why are you, what so you angry? To me? I'm not I'm trying not to angry. do anything. I'm just trying to make sure you're okay, okay? I'm okay. Okay. Uh, I, think you, I think you might have had a little too much to drink. How, how much no, wine? How much wine have you had? It's my problem. Yeah. Who are you? I'm Officer Hill. How much wine have you had? It's okay. Does it matter? How, how much wine have you drank tonight? Ma'am, focus on me, okay? How much wine have you had to drink tonight? Two glasses. Two glasses, that's it? Yeah. Okay, how long ago was that? Uh, two hours ago. Two hours ago? Karen remains to be somewhat cooperative with the officers, but in true Karen-like fashion, things are about to kick off. Let's walk over here, okay? Let's stand. No. You're gonna give me my passport back. Hey, just relax. What's the name? Relax. You gotta give me my passport. I'm not relax. taking it. I'm not taking it. Yeah. Just relax. Hey, no, hey, don't touch me. You need me. to relax. Don't, don't touch, touch him, me. okay? I'm don't try to grab anything him. out of his hand. All right. I'm not. We're done. Take your bag off. We're done. Relax. You're under arrest. We're going to place you under arrest for public intoxication, okay? Chance behind your back. Don't resist. Relax. Hey, relax. Don't okay. resist. Hey, it's not worth it, okay? This is a ticket. We're going to give you somewhere to, to sleep it off, and that's it, okay? But you need to relax. Stop pulling away. Let go. It's okay. Just relax. Okay. I can't double lock it. Stop. Pull that hand. She's trying to claw me. Relax. Dude, hey, you, you scratch him, that's a whole nother charge. And you don't get out tonight. Don't no, scratch him. You're trying to scratch me. I know what you're doing. It you scratched like yourself, you too. Of course relax. you're trying to scratch people. Look. Your stuff right there. Look. Don't touch me! Don't hurt me! Let's go! Walk! Tell your brother, don't right. hurt me! There's a scratch! Hey. Me. <laughs> this guy is hurting me! You need to relax. Okay, so can we he's get hurting me. She's he's not hurting you. You are, you are fighting you us. You are not. He's hurting me. You need to relax. Hey. No. You need to relax. No. Yes. No. Relax. Just hold on, let's get, let's get them in here. Do not try to headbutt anyone again. You Don't understand? let me hurt me again. He doesn't need to hurt me. He was hurting my hands. You didn't. You didn't. He did. So what's the thing? She kicked me and she had butt in me. Yeah. So what? So what? Now you have assault on a peace officer. You yeah. Okay. She didn't hurt me. me. She kicked me in the leg and then... You don't hurt me. Headbutted me, but she, all she did was headbutt my stuff. Stop touching me. Look at you. Okay. You gonna relax yet or not? It's gonna be a long night in jail if you don't so settle down. Kick me, headbutted me. Yeah. So. So, you ready when y'all are? We might have to get late. If you can find one, yeah. When will they learn that violence against an officer never ends well? And now she's lost her walking privileges into the wheelchair you go, Karen. We're going to borrow your wheelchair, bud. Alright, we're going to stand you up. Don't touch me. Nope. Don't we're going to touch me. you. You're going to stand up. No. You're going to sit in this wheelchair. Don't touch me. Sit down. Sit down. No. Yep. Yep. No. Yep. Pick your feet up. No. Relax, ma'am. Where? Where are you guys? Here. Uh, no, I want more officers. You guys are not 
Tip it good. back. Where are the other guys? Right now, kid. It's kind of weird. No? Are you, you guys are here? Yeah. Yep. As long as you push it's okay. that Where does it take you outside? Those guys are not good. Okay, well, we're here. Okay. Everything's going to be all right. Put your leg back on, but it's going to take you outside. It's taking you outside. Just relax, you know? No, they need to leave my, my hands off. They don't hurt me. They need to let my hands off. Put your legs up. No. Put your legs up. Put your legs up. Put your legs up. No. Yes. No. Listen to me. Listen. No. Put we're go, put hey, we're not going very far. Put your foot no. up. Relax. They will take those no. handcuffs off. No. I want them off. No. I didn't do anything. Backwards. I didn't do anything. I want them off. Yeah. Right now. Here. I want them off. I want them off. I guess these officers forgot to tell her to keep her hands and feet inside the wheelchair at all times. However, her next means of transportation, she's even less impressed about. No! Sorry for that, we probably should have given a sound warning. Why am I restrained? Why am I restrained? Why am I restrained? I'm a US citizen. Why am I restrained? What have I done? Can you stand up for please? No? Can you please stand up for No? Can you tell me why am I... You're, you're, uh, I'm, I'm drunk. I'm drunk. Yes, so I'm restrained yes, from the US military because I'm drunk. So what we're going to do is we're going to get you up and we're going to get you this No, okay? no. I want to know, I want to hear why am I restrained. Because you were placed under arrest for public intoxication. What do you all want to grab her legs and take her up? Uh, in Germany. Yeah, it's going to be a long time. Who are you? I'm the sergeant. I'm going to take care of you, but I need you to get in that you chair. You want to take care of me? Yes, ma'am. It's my job to take care of you. It's my job to get you out of jail. You're hurting me right now. I'm not. Yes? My hands, my are, hands are hurting me. Okay. Well, if you'll get in that wheelchair, I'll get them handcuffs off. I don't need no wheelchair. Okay. I can walk. Then walk? Yeah. The only problem is they got to get you I'll get Who are you? Why am I here? Because you're I live in Germany. Germany. No. I live in Germany. Well, Why in, am in I the here? U.S., you're intoxicated, so that's what we're Okay, but at, so. I live in Germany, so we better be very careful here. Okay. Okay. So I need you to get up and stand in this So I chair. need you to tell me why the I'm here because... Public intoxication. Uh, for what? I live in Germany. Well, you're in the U.S., so you have to buy, I, buy I, by the I, U.S. I don't stuff. live in the U.S. It doesn't matter. No? Yeah. I don't. You're in the U.S. right now, not Germany, so... So? So what? So what? Where's my stuff? So, we're going to pick her up, if you don't mind. 
Yeah. 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 Am I an enemy? Why are my hands tied? Because you're under arrest. Oh, why am I under arrest? She was charged with assault of a public servant, resisting arrest, and public intoxication, punishable by a maximum of one year behind bars, a fine of up to $2,000, or both jail time and a fine. If you're young and are considering taking up the Karen lifestyle, just remember instant karma exists for you youngins too, and it hits our next victim quick and hard. From Pullman now, we have a 19-year-old Karen who learns a harsh lesson on supplying police false information. Truly? Can I no, see that? We're just drinking oh. seltzer. Can I see it? Go ahead. Yeah, sure, ma'am. Uh, well, you got it all over your butt. Yeah, yeah. It's Give okay, ma'am. Do you guys have your IDs on you? No, ma'am. No, sorry. Okay, how old are you? Uh, 21. Okay. Perfect. Do you have oh, anything have on you, Cougar card? card? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. Just my phone. Just sorry, ma'am. All right. You're not lying to me, are you? No, ma'am. Okay, so why are you hiding the white claw then? I put it behind because I thought she was going to yak. It just like, looks bad, ma'am. <laughs> I'm not, not going to lie. lie. <laughs> okay, what's your last name? Uh, Con. How do you spell it? C A A N. Okay. C A A N? C-A-A-N. Okay, and your first name? Dan. D-A-N, ma'am. Okay. And what's your birthday? September 21st, 1993. 93. Okay, so how old does that make you? 22, ma'am. Okay. And what's your address here in Pullman? I don't live in Pullman, ma'am. Okay, where do you live at? Alabama. Okay, what's your address in Alabama? 1834 Wild Court, Wild Flower Court, ma'am. And what's the zip code in Alabama? Uh, six three five two one. Six three five two one. Okay, and what city in Alabama? Uh, Spanish Fort, Alabama, ma'am. Spanish Fort. Okay, and do you have a driver's license through Alabama? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What's your middle initial? Michael. Okay. So apparently we have Dan Michael Kane from Spanish Fort, Alabama, which doesn't sound suspicious or made up at all. Go ahead. Yes, so you're telling a story. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. So I have a name through Alabama if you could check Before she it. can get this return that's going to say you're not a person and we take you to Copy, Pullman. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Okay. Last you're of the con, Charles that. Adam Adam yeah. Nora versus Dan, right. David Adam so, Nora, Middle and Mary, 0921-93, female through Alabama. Entered into a program through the prosecutor's office, which is called the Deferment Program or Divergence Program. I don't know the name. Or, if you don't Copy. tell this officer before she gets the fact that there's no return on that, that so you nine. lie to her about her name, uh, your name. We're going to take you to Pullman. Sir, I'm going to be honest. I don't need to be entered into a program. I'm okay. sorry. I just so don't. If you're okay, I'm just telling you. If you're lying, we're going to take you Wait, to Pullman. I'm not leaving you. Okay. Please leave. I'm not. No, she, she's not free to leave either. Oh. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Fine. My name is Sophia Cash. I live at... I promise I don't need to be entered into a program. I don't drink every day. This is okay, what's your middle initial, program. Sophia? P. And what's your real birthday? April 11, 2000. And what's your address here in Pullman? I actually don't know that, but I live in Orton. What room number? And your phone number?
Alabama. And that's through Alabama? Uh, that's actually through Olympia, Washington. My parents moved out right No, do you have a driver's license through Alabama? I do, but I don't know the license. That's fine. Coleman 449. Let's check a different name. Okay, so you're under arrest for minor in possession of alcohol uh, and making right. false or misleading statements. Can I drop these cheeses? Yes, absolutely. Please just, just go. Uh, it's going to be a Oh, okay. Sorry, yeah, my phone, my number, my, uh, number. Did you advise my company? Nope. Call my 456 Go. Just so, so, I'll, I'll you. explain to you what's going on. Oh, wait, perfect. 100%. Is there, can I just ask a question? Yeah, I don't know. Where can I pick her up? What's so, my... So, Sophia crashes arrested and put into the back of the patrol car without any force necessary. A refreshing change from the typical Karen. Hey, Sophia. So I just want to give you an update on your friend, okay? Uh, which friend, sir? The, uh, the black female you were with? Okay, sir. I can't pronounce her name. Yes, sir. So she was just given a warning, okay? And let me tell you why she was just given a warning. Yes, sir. Because she didn't, she didn't tell stories. Yes, sir. Okay, and like, like I told you, you would have just got a warning too, but you wanted to kind of play games. Yes, sir. So... Okay, but you still have your lap belt on? Yes, sir. Do you feel secure with Officer Dillon's driving? Yes, sir. Me too. It's very good. I just wanted to make sure you knew. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I heard the, I heard the seatbelt, and I, I thought, my goodness, did she take it off? How did she do that? But I guess it just fell, so, okay. So maybe in the future, if you could go back in time, how would you have handled this situation? Well, sir, I probably would have just told the truth from the start. Probably? Oh, no. Okay. I don't want to get my friends in trouble. Yeah, but I don't know how you telling a fib would uh, get your friends in trouble. It's only going to get you in trouble. Honestly, sir, I'm, I'm not really here either. Yeah, probably because you've been drinking quite a bit. I haven't been drinking quite a bit, sir. Just more than a little bit. More than a little bit. Somewhere in between there. Somewhere in between. Yeah, those white claws will get you. Officer Nathan Patterta takes a humorous approach to this arrest to lighten the mood. Because you didn't want to get your friends in trouble? Her friend hit it behind her. Oh, your friend hit it. Oh, well, you know what they say, there ain't no laws when you're drinking claws, but unfortunately that is not true. That is, the internet has let you down. Whether you have the white claws or not, yeah. I've, it's true. I've read the U.S. and Washington Constitution, and they don't even mention white claws in there. I think it's because they're relatively new. Yeah, probably. I don't think Thomas Jefferson was drinking the white claws. I honestly have a hard time picturing Thomas. Maybe some version of it, though. Uh, Miss Cash, we're going to walk you in, okay? So don't try to run away, okay? Because if you run as good as you tell the truth, we'll catch you pretty easy. After Sophia sobered up in the cell, she was released with a summons to appear in court pleading guilty to being a minor in possession. However, the charge of making a false statement to a public servant was dismissed as part of a plea agreement. In result to her guilty plea, Sophia was given a deferred sentence of nine months on probation and fined a total of $500. Next up, we have early bird Karen, who was found to be a little sleepy behind the wheel in a Wawa store parking lot around 6 a.m. You said you drove to this location, correct? Okay, was there anybody else in the car with you? No, it was just you. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting gas and I was getting some food, but the food is so nasty. Food here is nasty. Okay. All right. So you're telling me you drove here, okay? Right? From your house. Okay. And you didn't go into the store yet. No. Okay. I came from my wallet. So you came That's from. Hold on, hold on. Listen. Your wallet's right there. My, Central 22 my, 190. I'm going to have one out for field sobriety. My, um, I'm, I promise you, I'm not drunk. Can you just find my out? That's why I was trying to sit in the car because I couldn't find my... Before Zasia can undergo her sobriety test, she wants to find those damn shoes that she's been looking for for the past hour. But her calm demeanor completely switches when the cops say this. Just sit down. I want you to sit down. I'm trying to look, I'm trying I know, to but I want shoes. you to sit down. I want you to sit okay, down. Okay, I'm trying to find my shoes. Okay, I'm telling you no right now, and I want you to sit down. I can, I no, can walk, No, you yes, can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. I want you to sit. Yes, I can. Okay, I can I'm walk. Not, I'm, it's, right. it's not fine. I to, I'm, I'm looking for my shoes. They're in the right, trunk. Can you come out here? I want you to sit down. They're in the trunk. 
Ma'am, I want you to sit down. I'm getting my shoes no, you're out not. of the trunk. No, you're yes, not. I no... want you to take a seat. I want you to take Officer, a seat. Officer, please take your hands off of me. Ma'am, I'm going to tell you what, what what's going to happen, more okay? To, more to leave. More to leave? More, more to leave? Yeah. Let me you're not my going into the trunk, the trunk right now. I want you to sit in the car. Let me get my no. shoes. Yes, that's what I've been looking for. No. More to leave. There's no reason for you to act like this. When we do the field test, we'll get your shoes. Just just sit in the car Let for one second. Let me get my shoes now. Why? No. Why can't I have my shoes now? Because we're gonna. I, I have to conduct an investigation here, partner. Investigation right? of what? Okay, a DUI investigation. I'm okay. not driving. I'm not driving. You, you drove here, though. You drove I've here. I've been here for an hour. You, you said 30 minutes. No, I've been and here for over and you an hour. Consumed, and you consumed alcohol. No, not while I was here. I was in her, I've been here for over an hour, and okay. I have not consumed alcohol. So when did you consume the alcohol? I'm on radio. Like an hour ago. Okay, so before you, I came here, yeah. So you consumed the alcohol, and then you came here. Exactly. So you consumed the alcohol, and then you drove here. No. That's what you just said. No, I consumed alcohol when I was here because I couldn't find my shoes. That's why I'm trying to get my shoes. All right, I'll get your shoes in the car, okay? Okay, can, they're, they're in the trunk. Can you get them real quick? Yeah, I can. What, what kind of... What, just... They're like brown. They're high heels. No, they're not. They're like flat. I don't see... Come here. I don't see any flats. No, they're... Oh, no. Where were you last night? Oh, no. Yeah, they're not here. So you got here at like 3.20 in the morning. Okay, what time is it now? What time is it now? It's, what, what time do it's, you think it is? You tell me. What's your, what's your last name? Uh, yeah, no, we're good. Ice man. What, what tell, you tell me. I'm just minding my business. I was sitting in my car listening to music. I was trying to find my shoes and, you know, go inside and get a hokey, but... You know what? But you never made it inside? No. Never made it saying. in. I never, because, yeah, no. like, I couldn't, because my shoes were in the trunk. They weren't even in the car. You've been sitting here for, like, four hours almost. Is that a crime? Well, no, but. Exactly. But, well, well. It's not a crime? The, it's you not under, a crime? Well, to, to be. Crime or to, to be sitting, to, leave, really, to be sitting in your car for four hours no. on private property, no, and not I at all. And I wasn't slumped over the wheel. I was just sitting here. I was listening to music. Sure, if I got you. You see a black woman sitting in her car and she's listening to music. Okay, it's a crime. Like no. No, I'm not saying it's a crime. What I'm saying though is the impairment. I'm not impaired though. Right. That's, that's that 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 would be that would be the issue, but right? But I'm not. I've been sitting here. Like I've been looking for my car. So let me ask you a question. When you so you. When, 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 when did you consume the Patron? That was like last night. I'm not even... Hmm, so was it last night or an hour ago? Her sense of time must have also gotten lost. Somehow, Zasia managed to delay the field sobriety test for 10 minutes before this. Mrs. Zayasia, here's what we're going to do, okay? We're going to put you through a series of field sobriety tests, okay? And if you are sober, you are, and you pass my tests, I'm gonna put you back in your car and you're gonna be good to go, okay? I'm gonna go to breakfast. I mean, you could go to breakfast after, yup. No, you we, guys we, don't come we, with we could me. all, yup. You we guys could don't all. come with me to breakfast. Are you coming yep. to breakfast too? If you're inviting, maybe we'll all go. We'll maybe we'll I'm all go. Um, More Talibi is paying because he's putting me through the ringer. I, I'm putting him <laughs> through, through, through the ring. You want me to go through an obstacle course? All right, <laughs> we're gonna do that. And then if you're good to go, I'm sending you back in your car. Okay. But if not, you gotta come with me, all right? Just come over here. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go over here, okay? Right over here. You understand my test that I, as, it, as I described Yay. to you? Yes? Fine. All right, from the starting position, with your arms down by your side, I want you to do that test and begin whenever you're ready, okay? Go ahead. All right, try to go heel to toe, and arms down by your side, and count out loud. That, that was mine. I didn't count out loud, but that was mine. All right, arms down by your side, and try to go heel to toe. So the next test we're going to do is the one leg stand test, okay? Um, and all it's How going to. How many tests you got for me, more to leave We got, oh my we got God. one more, and then we're going to do an eye test, okay? So all I want you to do at this point is just stand down with your feet together, okay? Toes together, heels together. Here, come out here a little bit. I can't take you nowhere. All right, heels together. <laughs> Bro. Put, put your feet together, heels together. You got to put your heels together. There you go. You want it to keep your shoes on or take them off? It's on. Okay. All right. 
what I want you to do is when I tell you to begin, keep your arms down by your side for me. I want you to take whichever foot of your choice. I'm going to raise my right foot. Uh, you can raise your left or right. You're going to raise your foot about six inches approximately off the ground with your toe pointed up. And I want you to count out loud like so. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, and so on until I tell you to stop, okay? Do you understand that test? Yes. Okay. When I tell you to begin, all right? All right, go ahead. Start. Keep your arms down by your side. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009. I could do tricks. Like, come on. Unsatisfied with the results of the field testing, the officers have no choice but to place Zaysha under arrest. Time to unleash the inner Karen. All right, so what I need you to do, just turn around, put your hands back in the back. You are under arrest right now for uh, DUI, okay? Driving under the influence, okay? Are you yeah, so we're, what we're gonna do. I'm sober. I understand. So, what we're gonna do. Back at the station, too. We'll get a press in. Cool. Uh, I wasn't even driving. I don't want to talk to you. I'm going to, y'all going to talk to my lawyer. Y'all going to talk to my civil rights lawyer because I feel like this is a violation. I wasn't driving, and you talking about I'm driving under the influence. How? At what point was I driving? At what point was I driving? Let's talk about that. When, when you got here. You when was I driving? There. But did you pull me over, though? No. Exactly. So, how was I driving under the influence? You don't have to be pulled over. So, under what influence, though? Of alcohol. We don't, we don't I'm, I'm not drunk. You're not going to jail or anything. I know, but I'm still. It's you arresting me for a DUI. Like that's a like no, that's a, no, like no. Like if you want to get your tickets up, just say that. You gotta meet your quota. Just say that. Like get out my face. I don't want to talk. Like. No, like, yes, you're being arrested. It's now time for Zaysha to be taken back to the station, but she has one last parting gift for Officer Mortaliti. You're, you're going to lose your job. Okay. You're going to lose your job. Okay. We'll be back the you're going to lose right, your we'll put job. That, yeah, I need that. You're All right, gonna you come with me, okay? Job. All right. You're going to lose your job. Sounds good. You're going to lose your job. Okay, get over. You're gonna lose your job. You're gonna right, lose your job. Is clear. Go ahead. You're gonna lose your job. All right. You're gonna yeah, lose your job. Right. Yeah, now. Better than school. You're gonna lose your job. 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 I like that song. That's a good one. No. Top of the. I'll sing that one later for you. Top of the charge. Court records indicate that on October 6th of 2022, Zaysha pleaded guilty to operating under the influence. She was ordered to spend 12 hours at an intoxicated driver resource center use an ignition interlock device for three months, and pay a total of $790 in fines. The other citations were dismissed as part of her plea agreement. Moving on, we have Karen from Middleburg Heights, Ohio, who had a fight with her boyfriend and his family, resulting in a physical altercation between her and her mother-in-law. Hello. What's going on? What the f are you? Oh, who did? My f girlfriend. Who, is it here? This is my mother. Oh, your mother. I tried to slam her head against the thing. My brother that just left us here. Just okay. I'm not even drinking. No, I know. Just, just. I'm a sober person. I saw. I just had heart surgery. Okay. Who? who she ran off that way somewhere. Oh, she. Bring the top her lungs off. Oh, oh it, where, where, where does she live? She lives last in Lyria. Okay, so she. Came here for my mom's birthday. But she's just walking down the. Yeah, she's screaming. You hear? Little bond. Uh, I think. Oh, you're trying to slam my mom's head drunk. I think I, I, I hear her, I'm pretty sure. I can just yell flashlight. Yeah, what's up? She popped my glass lens oh, out. Oh, I gotcha. All right. Uh, oh, Charles, she's supposed to go tomorrow morning for epilepsy for her week, week study. Okay. And she has a neurologist at 12 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Well, my brother said, come out. So is she is she over there? Yeah, I told her to call the cops for two minutes. All right. So I hey. get her in the car to take her home. And she was just going with him real fast. Yes, I'll, I'll be right back with you. All right, so I guess it's like it's her, it's his girlfriend that like punched him in the face or something. Like she's over there, just erratically moving around by the gas station. I'm gonna go over there real fast. Should I bring her back over here? Where are you talking about? 
After a brief rundown of the situation, the officers head off to find Karen at the gas station around the corner. Can I what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Okay, relax. Bring, bring it down. Um, bring it down a notch, please. Please. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. Can you here? Sit, sit down. I, I can see that. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Just turn me away like I'm a Ma'am, can you, yeah, just sit down for me. Yes! Do you want it? Do you want um, medical to come out and check you yes, out? Yes, please! I'm right. epileptic! Why are you yelling at me? Because this little mother puppy is in the next. Stay down. All right. Can you just. Can you just. Glasses. Can you just. Hey! Push me away like I'm a piece of shit. Go ahead, get him out. Can you not? Can you not? You got gloves? Yeah. I got pizza points. Why are you doing this? All right, just for now. Just for now. Just, just for now. Put your hands behind your back for now. I'm not even fighting. Why are you guys doing this? I'm just telling you because of the stupid There you go. Stand in there. <laughs> okay, you might have to down this. yet. Oh, there's, yeah. But I have to be at the hospital tomorrow, new collegiate oh, class so for EEG sleep study for my epilepsy. Please stop yelling. <sighs> Who's is this? Everyone, all right? Good. No, it doesn't look like it. After detaining her, the officers start trying to piece together what had exactly just gone down. But wait, Karen's not done yet. Oh my god. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? They're listening you're, to me! You're, get, you're gonna get a ticket. None of you guys are listening you're get, you're, to me! Get your, you're ignoring we me! Have a, you then why are you, you okay. ignoring me? Uh, look, 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 how, look how you're why acting. Why are you listening to me? Look how you're acting. You're kicking the door. Because you guys are listening to me. Just talk to us. You guys treated me like a drug addict. I was just trying to get up to listen to me. To me. All right. I just want somebody to listen. We are listening to you, but you have to understand. My boyfriend just booted me out of the car and left me on the street. You guys don't even understand. You're, you're swinging around a gas uh, thing, and then you're kicking my window out. Because the owner gonna call you guys for me and then God knows who acted like he was cool All right, you have to me. step out with me real and quick. And then he just Let's... acted like he was cooler yeah. than me. Step out with me. And then wouldn't even listen to me and left me acting like he was all right. nothing. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna talk we're gonna talk over we're gonna talk over in here, all right? I just wanna talk to Do you have any somebody. weapons on you? Of course I don't. Okay, I just we have to ask, you know. My boyfriend just booted me out. Have a seat. All right. Have a seat. And I go Where's her purse at? Have a seat. Have a seat. Sure. Have a seat. Thankfully for the officers and their car's sake, no more window kicking was done after relocating her into a caged vehicle. Up next is a belligerent Karen who's by her own doing being trespassed from her daughter's school. And let's just say she isn't making it easy for anyone involved. No, we're going to talk about she got signed like an Ma'am. adult. I wasn't talking to her. Okay. And I wasn't doing that. So before you come in, you can listen to my part too, because that is a part of a. Okay, okay. we're going to stop right there. No. Because no, this is. I'm, I'm going to no. tell you right now how it works. She's the principal of this property. She gets to say who gets on this property. Okay, so she well, says you got to go. You like that. But you got to go. No, I'm not going nowhere because then, then you're going to be arrested for trespassing. No, the morning, then you need to call the cops that? because that's not. Oh, ma'am, I am a police officer, and I will need you. Okay. So you could don't so touch me. me. I'm leaving with, with my daughter. No, I'm leaving with my daughter. Yeah. Don't do not, not stir. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you, that's, that's what we're doing. If you fight, ma'am, it's I'm not fighting you. you, but you can so let go of me. No, I was you're under my daughter, and I'm no, leaving. absolutely not. We're not doing this. I'm calling my husband, ma'am. This is crazy. Mom, I'm being arrested because you guys let my daughter get spit on. Stop. I'm not touching. I'm not. Stop a, I'm calling my husband. Stop. Stop. You're hurting me. Stop. We'll stop fighting. I want the cameras of this. Stop. Oh, my God. You're enjoying this. Stop. You're enjoying it. Ma'am, you're making it worse for yourself. I'm not stop. Doing nothing. You, my wallet is in the way. I'm not dropping my wallet. Drop it. It's gonna be, I'm going to pick it up. 
ma'am. I'm trying to hurt you. I'm trying my best to not hurt you, but if you keep fighting, this is gonna be on you. You guys enjoy this? This is crazy. Ma'am, I'm not gonna tell you again. Stop moving for you to do that. You're the one having a panic attack. You can't control your rat around my shirt. Can you stop around my shirt? There you go, you can see it. Stop. Okay, then. Well, because I want the documents for my daughter. I hope you guys have a good time in court. And paperwork should be documented too. That you guys illegally. Everything is daughter. on my camera, so don't you worry. Okay. Everything is all set. I know, and I told you guys that you had a teacher spit in my daughter's face. Ma'am. Okay, and you did not contact okay. me. Have a seat. You got my shirt wrapped up into it. I don't want my, my butt. Okay, so, sit down. Thank you. I would like my phone to call my husband Five, too. Six. And I want the documents about my my daughter being spit on by a person, and I wasn't notified about that. Can you drop me? You guys are hiding documentation, so I'd like that. And I'm glad you guys dismissed her. Yes. The mouth on this woman, my God! But what she says next is even worse. And you have them twisted, so that's why it's not going on right. Because you panicked and had like an anxiety attack. There was no panic. No, you didn't need to go that far. You're just digging a hole for yourself. No, I didn't. So you can see. that lady right there. I said I wanted to have a conversation. I'm not sitting down. Okay, I'm sitting fine. down. I uh, leaned forward and said I wanted to have the conversation in the back. You guys, she got some stuck up and then well, you came in here with your mouth. Okay. You guys stand up and we're going to go, 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 go to my car. Let's go. And by the way, you're going to be in trouble for like not having somebody arrested. Sure, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Whatever you say. Don't push me, bitch. You fix my shirt, my stomach. No, absolutely not. We're gonna go don't to the back of my car. Ma'am, I don't not... push me. You're pushing me. Stop. No, no I'm walking. No push you're me. pushing no. me. Stop. Stop. I'm glad you're enjoying. Do you have anything on you that's gonna poke me, stick me, hurt me? You didn't read me my rights. I don't need to read your rights. I'm not asking you any questions about any criminal. Well, you activity. can't arrest somebody without reading their rights. That's not how it works, ma'am. But yeah, sure, I think you watch a little too much wrong. TV. Do you have any other things? Any pockets? Anything on you? Five seven six. Go ahead. Hey, I'm gonna need you to write in your stance, please. Yeah, I'm still giving you a time. Uh, I'm sure. You should ask for backup too. Oh, oh man, I'm stop. Such an attack. Okay. I'm gonna hurt everybody so bad. Okay, I'll make sure to note that in my report. So now that now that you've calmed down, okay, I, I need to ask you a few questions if that's okay, right? Because you have to understand why I took the action that I took, right? No. Okay, so uh, no, me, I don't so, agree with you. Okay, so so here's the thing, right? When you're so belligerent, I wasn't belligerent until okay, okay, she confronted okay. me. Oh, stop. Okay. That's why Listen, I said, go are you going to let me camera. finish, or do I have to roll the window again? But you guys aren't listening. You're, you're, to what in, I have to you're say. talking over me. And you're interrupting me. You're doing the as, same as thing. As you did when you were inside. This is what landed you okay, under arrest to begin with. You did that to me inside. Okay. You did the same thing. Okay. You know what? Since this is not going to happen, then we have nothing left to say. One, one, three, five, four, pound. Ready? Let's go. Star one one three five four pound. That's what I'm dealing with this morning. Good morning. Hey. So hey. Um, hey. Look at you. <laughs> so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll down the window. Yeah. All you have to say is your trespass. Yeah, I yeah, will take yeah. care of the no trespass worries. form yeah, and yeah, we yeah. don't have to do anything else. Ms. Hoffman just has something to say. Hi, I just wanted to let you know you're not welcome on the campus here of being trespass. Oh, good job. You could go yourself. Have a great day. Get some real hair. Wow. <laughs> I think Karen has some of her own creases to iron out before worrying about others. Anyways, let's now hear the principal's recounts of the incident. Okay, going on. Okay, so yeah. what happened when she came in? So I walked in the side door and I heard her yelling, the side door, and I figured I'd put my stuff in. I'll come back. I told Miss Aaron I was going to take her to the back. I came out and I said, you know, nicely at first, hey, why don't you come to the back? She said, no, you're going to do, tell me who spit in my daughter's face. I said, we're not going to do it out here. I want you to come to the back. She said, no. And then she went on and on. You're going to blah, 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 cursing and so forth. I said, you're not going to be able to do that here. She continued on. Yes, I am, because you're going to do X, Y, Z. And I said, ma'am, if you continue, I'm going to have to put you off the campus. I'm going to trespass you. I was clear. You're not going to do blank to me, blank, blank, blank. So I called you the first time. Then I decided, okay, let me see if she'll calm down, because I called her, let me see if she'll calm down. Mm -hmm. I heard your response, and then I said, why don't you calm down? But no, you can call whoever you want to call. Duh. And and yeah. then it just, right. she continued on until you walked in. And yeah, I, I, I thought she would calm down when you walked in, and you could get her outside. And and I could, I could explain to her that we...
trespassed the sub, she's not welcome here anymore, she can't come back anymore, that I had already handled it. I, I was trying to This has to, to do that. with that, that sub that the was sub in that France? I got, yes. Yes, okay. Yes. So if she, see, I couldn't get any information. I couldn't get anything her. either because she kept going on. If she would have given me an opportunity, I would have told her, I suspended right. the lady. She can't come back to our school. Even anymore. after she kind of semi, I don't want to say semi, calmed down. After she kind of quieted down, sitting in her car, I thought right. maybe that could right. calm it. Right. She still wouldn't get. She kept saying that her daughter was spit on. Yes. So, so that was an incident where the substitute yes. teacher was yelling and yes. spitting as she talked, yes. and she yes. took it as like yes. a. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. And I wanted to explain that to her. I didn't want to trespass, but I can't have her scaring all the rest of the parents up front. Her yeah, team. no, that was belligerent. Yeah. And she, that was, listen, so, we did what we had to yeah. do. This Karen eventually got charged with trespassing and was transported to Pinellas County Jail. However, on November 29, 2023, both charges were dropped by the state attorney and the case was closed by Judge Dorothy Vaccaro.